Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is Sunday. So it is going to be my church notes video instead of a devotional. So I've got and wrote down church notes and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Just read the notes that I took and this, uh, the verse and stuff. Um, so if you like this video, make sure you do like it and subscribe if you like faith videos, beauty, vlogs, lifestyle, cleaning and all that such. So Let's just go ahead. I'm going to read it and then read my notes. It's Exodus 3, 11 through 15. And it talks basically about the Lord uh, to Moses, speaking to him, telling him to set the people free from Egypt. And he was like, well, what do you want me to say who you are? What do you want me to call you when I go? And he said, I am the great I am. Call me I am. You know, the great I am. So that is exodus 3 11 through 15 the uh the the title is the great i am and it's today uh so i'm gonna go ahead and just read what i got it's just a page filled and then hope um you can read the scripture and deepen it out and get what the Holy Spirit tells you out of it and stuff and dig in it more and everything. But I'm just going to read what I got from today's notes from church. So it goes on by saying, um, you may be feeling all types of ways. So today or the day you're reading this, I mean, reading this, watching this, you may be feeling hopeless. You may be feeling weak, just tired of being tired, of not knowing who even God is and Knowing of God, but not having an intimate, serious, wholehearted relationship with them and wanting one, but you don't know where to start. Or you might have a relationship with them, but not such a good one because you have walls up. You have um, bondages and stuff, and you want to be set free. But this is um, what we need to do. So you may be feeling all those types of ways, but God is saying, I am what you need. If you're weak. He can give you strength. He can be your strength. And if you're lost, just come to Him. And He's your resting spot. He's where you uh, need to find your space at. Or your resting spot. Rest in Him. Um, you might want to give up, but He will give you the strength to go on. You might be feeling hopeless, but He gives you hope. He is what you need. He is what we all need. Are you giving him your attention? Because, you know, he can do all kinds of crazy stuff to get our attention. Like he did uh, with the burning bush. Like he gave to Moses. To get Moses to uh, his attention. To tell him that he is able to uh, bring the children, the Israelites, out of Egypt. Because God heard uh, their cries. And he set them free, brought them out of Egypt from Pharaoh. And if you're wondering why crazy stuff has happened to people who's walking out your life, God is just making a way to bring you out and to set you free for what he has for you. He's well, He wants to save you. He wants to set you free. But you have to be willing to give everything up to let him change you and your heart and find yourself in him. So he hears your cries. When you're tired of being tired, cry out cry out to him like the israelites cried out and god heard them so he will hear you and your cry like he heard them and he will set you free some of us are still in egypt because we haven't cried out to god if we will just cry out about all the stuff that's been happening and cry out and not let our walls stay up then he will hear us and he will set us free. But we have to not have them walls up. We have to be willing and yield to him and give him our yes. Our yes, our answer, and yes. So he can set us free. So he can continue to make us into the more men and women of God that we are made to be. So, for example, staying up late. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Staying up late. Not being able to sleep. Having addictions. And not wanting to be having them in addictions, bondages, strongholds, uh, walls up, like I said, and not letting God in and not letting him change you like you want to. That's why we have to have our walls down. And uh, them are just some examples.
of why we need to cry out to him. We may not know, like I said, where to start and stuff. And we're having all these things going on and everything. But we just simply just need to cry out to him. Pray, get her in our hands at uh, knees. Or just sit and just like God, you know, pour out your heart. And let him, he listens to you. And let him fill you up with his joy, with his peace, with his strength. And with another day and stuff. So, and another thing for salvation is what uh, the preacher said, and it was really strong. Uh, we have a selfish way of thinking of salvation. We think, oh, I'm being selfish, and if I get saved, I can't do this. You know, we can't, I'm not going to be able to smoke. I can't go party no more. I can't, I'll have to change the kind of TikToks I make. I can't throw it back on TikTok. I can't. Um, have it, have sex with this girl or with this boy because in his word, we're supposed to be pure. And that is true. So let's not be selfish because a lot of us has had a selfish thinking of way of, oh, if I get saved, I have to live this way. I can't do this and that. I have to give up this. But, you know, our fleshly desires is going to get in the way. That's why we have to keep um our minds on him and his word and feed ourselves and our minds more of his word so we will not want that we will fight the temptation and we will want more of him so you need to cry out he will hear you he will hear you like you heard the israelites and he will set you free because we are free indeed so he is what all is he you know you ask him well what is he like what can i uh, if we were to be doing it selfishly, what are we? What will we get out of him? But we can't think that way. Actually, we cannot think that way because he is the great I am. He is the way maker, the promise keeper, the light in the darkness. He is literally the truth, the way, and the life. And he is there. He's been there with you every step of the way, even though you didn't care for him, even though you didn't love him. But he still loved you anyways. He's he will leave the ninety nine just to come find you. We just have to cry out. We have to yield and give him our yes and accept him into our hearts and know truly that he is the God. And he gave him his only begotten son, Jesus, to die on that old rugged cross so we can have eternal life. And to only the only way to have eternal life is to believe in him and know that he is true. And he, Jesus, died and resurrected on that third day. And he is alive and he is good. So, he is our provider, he is our sustainer, he is our healer, he is our protector, our deliverer. And if you will cry out, yes, I'm saying this so much, but that's the only thing we need to do. We're so overwhelmed, we're so consumed in all the problems and stuff, but we need to be consumed in him and just cry out to him. He will hear our cries and he will come to us and he will set us free. He's, already, he's actually already with us, we just need to go to him. We just need to let down our guard and our walls and go to him and cry. And he will fix us. Mm. And he will hear us. So, we'll cry out or call on his name and he will hear you. And the things for you and heal the things and heal you and mend you and put you through the fire and uh, make you stronger and yes we go through stuff and why do we do that and why do we go through that stuff god why are you letting this happen but it's all a part of his plan he's working out what you're praying for right now you may be thinking that he's not hearing you out and stuff but he is and he's working it out he all has a plan and the plan is for our best and that's what he wants and that's what we should, we should want we should want what he wants more of him less of us and and that's why whenever we fight off the devil and stuff and bad spirits and stuff, we need to do it in his name. We don't need to do it in our name because our name does not have any power. But his name, when we pray, we need to say in Jesus' name, not in Abby's name, not in whatever name. <laughs> we need to do it in his name because his name has power and his power can get us through a lot. There is power in his name. As long as we come in his name and speak it in his name, the only way we'll be set free is if we cry out and come in his name and and 
we will be free. He can get us a long way. He can change our lives around. We just got to be willing. We just got to cry out. We've got to humble ourselves before him. We And we do not need to let our arrogance, let our pride, our anger, our trust issues, daddy issues. Because our if our daddies let us down, you know, we don't need to let that get in the way. Because the father is a true, awesome caring most loving generous daddy and he if your daddy hadn't been by your side he has always been by your side he has so as long as we come in his name and cry out to him like the israelites did he will hear us like he heard them and he will set us free like he set them free from egypt using moses so Hope y'all understood. Hope y'all have a blessed day, morning, day, or night, wherever you're from, what time and stuff. I love y'all so much, and I thank y'all for clicking on this video, God. I mean, clicking on this video, and let God just transform you and speak to you through this and what I'm saying. And it's not me, but it's God. And I just want to be led by Him, and I want to touch people. Let Him touch people through me, and I just hope it blessed you like it's blessed me and stuff. And I pray all goodness, and I pray His love and His word over y'all's life, and I love y'all, and I'm praying for y'all. But if y'all do have any um, prayer requests, comment them down below. You don't have to say specific, just say unnamed prayer request. Uh, I'll pray for y'all. I really do. And I love y'all so much. And thank y'all for hopping on this video. Make sure, like I said, give it a like and subscribe if you like my types of videos that I put out. But I love y'all so much. And God loves y'all 10 times more. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.